Hi, my name is Andres Jaramillo, I'm the SRA's Adoption Officer for Irrigation. In this kind of clip, we're going to be talking to Dennis Possible, one of the three collaborators we have on the automation of food irrigation happening here in the Vatican. The, the best, best way to explain it is, um, originally I used to just have all my sets running at 12 hour sections. Um, the ability now to have the end of row sensors to capture the amount of water that comes out at the end of the rows, uh, it could be two hours or even an hour saving. It come, could come out an hour earlier, two hours earlier to what my 12 hour sets used to be. So by changing it over, having it automated change over two hours earlier or even an hour earlier. So it's a potential five to 10% reduction in water runoff. Uh, you can save on uh, your power, your energy costs as well. A lot of it's to do with social life. Um, but most important is, of course, it's the energy cost. Um, so yeah, power, energy. There's the water. I mean, you got to take it, take it all as a, the whole, the whole package. And you just can't look at one thing. But of course, social life is important. Um, I have my base station in, at home on my office, where I can monitor everything. I um, can change valves, start pumps, everything from home at the moment. Um, running and then running through my phone as well. Um, if I'm away at time I can monitor everything on my phone back through to my computer. Um, yeah, so everything's, everything is there to have a look at at that uh, press of a button. It, it, it indicates which valves have been left on, which what pumps are on, uh, uh, when the water has uh, reached the end of its rows, it tells me with my endo row sensors um, potentials there to um, even tell me the flow input um, usage of um, water so yeah potentials there to go even further if I wanted to which I will be. When, when the section is finished the end of row sensors will pick up that the, there's uh, water coming through the end it sends a signal back to the wiser base station it says hey Dennis turn the water over Dennis is not going to do it, wiser will so, Wiser um, opens up the other valve and shuts that one there first. I always, always be one valve open before it shuts the other. And if there's a problem and the water goes over, it'll send me back a, an SMS uh, to let me know that, hey, Dennis, there's a problem. If you have a look in here, this is an end row sensor that's, um, which captures two sets of water from the right hand side here. Um, so this enables the amount of water that comes through, comes through here and across the road into the drain. So when there is 80% of the amount, 80% of, of, of rows that have come through, it'll tell me on my graph when it's reached a, a, a point in the graph, and it tells me that valve needs to be shut off and the other one needs to be opened. So this is the actual wires of base station that comes through from the aerial on the house seat. So, at the moment, this is my whole farm. Um, these are the three probes. There's a probe there, probe there, and these are the initial ones that I've started. Uh, this will tell you all the information you want. This following season, coming up, 2017 season, um, when we go back into full irrigation time, come December onwards, uh, I've got full confidence that I can go away for a full week for this section of this farm and and we're going to go to New Zealand for a full week and I've got no problems about letting it automate by itself. I think there's, there's enormous potential. Um, so we've shown we can do it on a, on a section of an irrigated farm. So like Dennis is here where it's a part of his farm. The other two farms are pretty much the whole blocks. So they're nearly the whole farm's been automated. And we've got a pumping system, an open channel system, um, recycling, no recycling, a range of systems that people should be able to get some information from. There's, I guess the, the, the key message is that you don't have to do everything at once. It's the, the system we've got here, the, the Wiser and the Aqualink, um, the really nice part about it is that you can do, like Dennis has done, you do a section, then you can keep adding on and do another section 
as time and money permits, which is, is really great. You need to have a look at your, your whole farm system and have a look at your layout. If you've got farms that you need to put clamps in the middle of the blocks or two or three clamps for your fluming, that's probably not going to work because obviously we're automating the valves. But um, I think there's, if people are interested, you need to just have a, a chat with someone who's got some knowledge and some skills around um, the system and see what's possible. <laughs>